this is what it's like to be black in America. Quote, vote here for the sexiest man or woman alive. Not a single black person listed. But, 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 wait. Here's the kick in the nuts. Black people watch more TV, purchase more products, consume more than any other racial group. What does that mean? While white people may be in the majority and may be the target audience, black people make up double and triple their numbers in supporting the TV shows, purchases, and repeat watching of media than anyone else. Idiot black people support stuff that they're not even considered to be a part of all the way from video games to movies. For instance, TV shows with all white casts have 60% of the audience as black people. So while blacks consume more than whites for the show, they are whole cloth ignored. And if black people were to ignore the show completely, the show would be canceled like yesterday, yet are not even acknowledged in the least. What makes it worse is black advocates that beg for 10% representation in TV shows are called racist. And what makes this even worse is the main people calling the advocates racist are black people. Study after study after study shows that black people are the highest in consumerism out of all racial groups, yet have the least wealth out of all racial groups. Black people literally give their wealth away. And to make matters worse, if blacks call for the creation or support of black business, they are called racist vehemently. The real problem is that when blacks call for the creation or support of black business, they go on white-only media to shout about it. Subconsciously, psychologically speaking, they want to be, quote, found out by their masters and stopped. Yes, it's just that deep of an issue. Blacks trained in America are psychologically damaged. The solution, own our own media. That is the first step. You can't beg for scraps at someone else's table when you're the one supplying them with the dinner in the first place. They are literally taking our dinner, i.e. black consumerism, and then calling us racist if we attempt to consume from blacks and build our own wealth. Literally, black consumerism is out of control. It is literally 110%. According to Dr. Anderson, we consume 110% of our dollars, meaning for every dollar we receive, we actually owe 10 cents more due to how outrageous we consume outside products and goods. No wealth is ever retained in the black community. Media is what we should build first. Radio, print, online news, online social media, nearly 100% of online black media is owned by white corporations. The arts, music, art, literature, plays, movies, TV shows, nearly all of that is in the hands and control of white people, regardless of the black face singing or acting. With control of media, we control our conversation. No longer will you have CNN tell black people what's wrong with black people. No longer will you have NPR tell you what's wrong with black people. No longer will you have a Sambo Coon rapper glorify crime, whoremongering, and call black women every name but a lady, or a brother every name but a gentleman. After that, then we build businesses on and offline. Media first, 
business second. And this includes transportation, manufacturing, and sale of our goods in our neighborhoods. That includes creating black national franchises for goods and services. Point blank. Black people, if you see a show with an all-white cast, turn the goddamn station. If that's all you see, turn the damn TV completely off and go read a book or talk to your wife, husband, or kids. Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show. <laughs>